God, praise God. We just want to thank the choir for that selection. Amen, praise God. At this time, we are blessed to have in our presence Pastor Henry and Associate Pastor Pauline Brash. And they're going to bless us with a selection. Amen. Amen. Praise God. 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 Praise God.
and we need your help to just send us up in the house. So don't get up on those feet, clap your hands, and if you catch it, you sing it with us. Come on, y'all. I was born in Yellow St. Thomas. So, you know, come on now. <laughs> God is my refuge and strength. God is my refuge and strength. God is my refuge and strength always. Come on, y'all. He's always, always made a way. Made a way. Through the night and through the day. Through the day. He brought me through my mighty Red Sea. Red, Red Sea. What and delivered me. <laughs> From all my enemies, yeah, 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 yeah. God is my refuge and strength. God is my refuge and strength. God is my refuge and strength always. God is my refuge and strength. God is my refuge and strength. God is my refuge and strength always. Never will I leave you or forsake you. Forsake you. Just do the things I command you to. Command you. And be not dismayed. No, don't you be afraid. Oh, Just okay. trust him in all you face and hope fast Woo. to amazing grace. Yeah. God is my refuge and strength. God is my refuge and strength always. Say now, say now, say now, say now. God is my refuge, my refuge and strength. I will never, ever, ever, ever be bent, bent by the enemy. Bent by the enemy. He is my Savior, my Lord, and my King. He is to me, to me, my everything. So to Him my praise, I pray and worship Him. Listen, she's a savior, pilot made over like them best and say. And when the angry when they come to threaten me, she's a savior, pilot me. Pilot me, pilot me, pilot me, pilot me, go. Pilot me, pilot me, in all I do. You got to pilot me, pilot me. Nobody like my Savior, Lord. From organization, he worked real hard. Now he's protecting me through storm and rain. Yesterday, today, forever the same. All the dwellers in the secret place know that you're under amazing grace. Yeah. Let me tell you what I know. He's way bigger, way bigger, way bigger, way bigger, Lord. Come on, everybody, let's get the one accord. Bless the name, the name of the Lord, yeah. God is our refuge, our refuge and strength. We will never, ever, ever, ever be bent, bent by the enemy. God bless you, don't get bent. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is our refuge and strength. Praise God, a very present help in the time of trouble. We just want to thank Pastor Henry and Associate Pastor Pauline Brash for reminding us God is our refuge. Thank you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. And he wrote it. He wrote it. Amen. And he recorded it. Amen. Praise God. God is our refuge and strength. Praise God. At this time, Brother Christian Strachan and Miss Sharon Lewis Harris is going to be coming to give us reflections of Jamaica. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I say good morning, everybody. Good morning. I know I'm in the house of God, so there's no need for me to be nervous. I'm, I'm at home, right? So good morning. Good morning. Um, happy 56th anniversary for Jamaica Independence. 
thank you to Pastor J.B. Dillon and to our Honorary Consul General Lloyd Hyde, to all the church leaders, Pastor Johnson, the deacons, everybody that's here today, praise God. Glory, hallelujah. I gotta say, uh, I'm supposed to be up here to give um, uh, a bit of a background on prominent Jamaicans. I did that some years ago. And, uh, you know, looking around, I, I, I started thinking, okay, maybe I'll, I'll list off some names where I surprised some of you um, a couple years ago where you didn't know that James Bond is a Jamaican. Crazy. James Bond is a Jamaican. Ian Fleming penned the James Bond series in 1962 in Jamaica, okay? But I didn't want to go there. Um, I think of the past, I think of the present, and I think of the future when I think of prominent Jamaicans, important Jamaican Americans here. I am Christian Strawn, um, the son of Beverly and Stan from the parish of St. James and St. Andrews. And I am from the parish of St. Andrew, that's why my middle name is Andrew. I'm Christian Andrew <laughs> Strawn. Today is different. I remember two years ago, standing up here and looking into the crowd. And it was a lot more older faces, a lot more distinguished, wise faces. And my parents are no longer with me. They both passed away from cancer several years ago. But this is a day to rejoice. I'm looking in the crowd. I saw the youth come up. I see a, a number of people under the age of 25, more than last year. I see them. I see it in their eyes. That's a blessing. I feel foolish if I'm mentioning stars like uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Anybody know that name? Okay, but there's some that picked me them. None of them that name. Tyson Beckford. Okay, he was a big model in some of our days. Una days. But these days, them, I don't know them. I don't know that name. But they do know the names of some of the people that are no longer with us that helped us every day pack up fish packages to bring back home, wait on the bus stop with you, get a ride, okay? Help you out when you need a look of something, a like a smalls, right? When it's cowl out here, you know, and back home people say, yeah, you're not a yard no more. <laughs> Chicago, which way am I going? Cool out there, man. But those are the people in the past that got us to where we are here yes, today. Sir. So I'd like to salute all of the prominent Jamaicans that got us to where we are here today on our 56th anniversary. Currently, um, I'm not sure if everyone is aware of Consul, the Honorary Consul General Lloyd Hyde, what that is. He is underneath the Ambassador of the United States from Jamaica to the United States. He is one of less than nine missions in this continent that are here to help the Jamaican community. I'm not just bringing that up as a point of reference. Everybody in here that's either friends of Jamaica or you're Jamaicans or you're connected to Jamaicans somewhere, you are a community. You're a community with voice, a community with power, your community with resiliency, your community that survives, and your community that can also vote and be empowered. If you are not able to vote, go to this man and find a way to get your citizenship, your pathways here, so that you can bring others and help others. Trust me, okay? On our Independence Day, we need to make sure if we're here in the U.S. that we've got a voice or a vote. Yes. Believe me, it's important. And why it's important? Is because you said I'm picking it on us here when we're talking about the future. That's the future. It's different right now. And I'm telling you honestly why it's different right now. It's because I'm a father this year, less than three uh, months ago. Congratulations. Congratulations. My son, Kingston Raz Strawn, is now here today. Okay? Kingston. I don't know where I come from, you know. So on our 56th anniversary, everybody, I implore you, 
Remember the past, remember the present, remember the future, but remember we are Jamaicans. Yeah. We're proud. Praise God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I have to say congratulations on the birth of your son. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. I greet all of you with the love of God. And I thank the council for giving me this task because I learned so much preparing to speak to you today about the history of Jamaica. So we have such a rich history, you'll have to permit me to share it. Okay. Marcus Garvey once wrote, a people without knowledge of their past right. history and culture is like a tree without roots. Amen. As we celebrate the 56th year of Jamaican independence, let us celebrate our roots. Night 1494 to 19.